You alright guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another episode of FIFA Through the Years. Today we're going to be looking at absolute legends. These guys have mostly retired but there are a few that haven't but I thought the ones that hadn't deserved a place in this video anyway. Now I have to say a massive thanks to you all for getting a thousand likes on yesterday's video. In fact you got well over a thousand likes so you clearly are enjoying this series. I'm going to do the same deal with you. If you can get this video to a thousand likes before midnight tonight I will upload another one of these tomorrow. So definitely worth hitting that like button now. And also if you're looking to buy some ultimate team coins go and check out futcoinemporium.com their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap and reliable coin service and if you use the discount code CAPGUNTOM you'll get 10% off all of your purchases. So let's jump in and have a look at our first player. So here he is, Edwin van der Sar. I love this guy, absolute legend in my opinion. I might be a little bit biased because I am a Man United supporter but he was so good for us in there, absolutely loved the guy, was completely devastated when he decided to retire but every player's career has to come to an end at some point and you have to excuse the fact that it says like 82 pace and 86 shooting on his card. That's just a bug with the um, where I'm get, getting the cards from. It would actually be 82 diving and 86 handling. So you just have to imagine that the actual goalkeeper words are on the card. Those stats are correct though. So um, looks absolutely fantastic. I mean he was obviously dropping off in rating points between FIFA 10 and FIFA 11 but uh, still a fantastic player. I can only imagine what his card looked like on FIFA 09. If I ever manage to get a hold of it I will of course show you in a video. Next up is one for all you Arsenal fans out there and it is Patrick Vieira. Look at him. That FIFA 10 silver card looks absolutely amazing. 70 pace and 80 defending as well as 72 passing and 78 heading. I would kill to have that card nowadays. You could put him in any Serie A silver squad. That would be, without a doubt, he'd be fantastic. I mean, he had a season at Man City as well for FIFA 11. I think that he retired at the end of that season. But a fantastic player and uh, pretty sorely missed, I think, by all you Arsenal fans. Here's one of the Brazilian legends. It is Roberto Carlos. What a beast this guy was. I'm going to be saying that for a lot of these players because I absolutely loved a lot of them. You can see there, he was absolutely insane. He was so good. All I remember him for was that absolutely incredible free kick he scored against France, where he hits it with the outside of his boot and it curls like in the shape of banana, goes straight into the back of the net and everyone went absolutely mental because it was the most ridiculous shot you'll ever see. And if you haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure all of you already have, go and watch it. I highly recommend it. Anyway, had that FIFA 10 Fenerbahce card. Pretty cool looking card. I mean, 78 pace as left back. 76 defending, he had 72 shooting, that's pretty good. Then he was at Corinthians for FIFA 11. Then he was at Amash Alaka Laka 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 and Z at FIFA 12. And this guy was so good because he was because he was a CDM. I used to just pick it up on the edge of my own, well, in my own half, run to the edge of their half and just take shots and see if I could score because that's all I used him for. Absolutely beast and I wish that he was still in the game. Here we go, one of the first players that isn't actually retired in this video and it is Del Piero. Now this guy, unbelievable. Look at the stat drop that he had though between FIFA 10 and FIFA 11. He went from an 89 rated centre forward to an 80 rated centre forward. Now he hasn't retired because he's actually playing out at Sydney FC in the A-League. So um, he's not actually retired but I don't understand why he's not on the game because Sydney is actually on the game. So I don't know why he's not there. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe his Wikipedia page is telling me something wrong. Maybe you guys can tell me what is going on in the comments section because I have no idea. But if we look at his FIFA 10 card... 89 shooting, that's unreal, 92 dribbling, 84 passing, only his pace lacked and it was only 79. I think that he'd probably be similar or I'd liken him to Robin Van Persie this season with great dribbling, great shooting, great passing, just lacking a little bit of pace. But you can see how he went down through the FIFAs, you know, he eventually in the space of two years he dropped a 56 pace from 79 pace. That's absolutely ridiculous, but still a very good card. I actually used that Juventus uh, FIFA 12 card and it was very, very good. He even managed to grab himself an inform on FIFA 12. Here we go, it's Freddy Lundberg, the Swedish international. Actually was in the MLS for the two seasons that he had cards on Ultimate Team. You can see there is Seattle Sanders for one of them and then he was a silver for Chicago in the uh, FIFA 11 time. I don't understand why he doesn't actually have a Celtic card because I believe he was out there in 2011 as well but maybe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure he was so um, I don't know why he didn't have a card but he has now retired which is a shame but what a player and if you remember he had that absolutely crazy red hair back in the day. Next up is Morientes and what a player this guy used to be. Obviously the only card that he had is the Marseille striker card that you see on screen in FIFA 10 um, but if 
we went back further, he would have had so many good cards, especially at Real Madrid, because he had a great spell there. I mean, he scored 72 goals in 182 appearances, which is actually absolutely crazy. He also went off to Liverpool, so all you Liverpool fans will remember him as well. And then he was at Valencia as well before going off to Marseille. So a pretty interesting career this guy's had. Um, I definitely snuck this one in. I don't know whether I really should have put him into the Legends category, but it is Gary Neville. You see there that I picked up both of his cards from FIFA 10 and FIFA 11. One was a silver, which probably would have been quite an attractive card to use. He was quite slow though. Um, had decent defending and decent heading stats though. And I feel a little, bit, a little bit cheeky putting him into the Legends, but for me, he's a legend because he was at Man United. I know that a lot of you are going to be like, you're biased because he was Man United, but you know, he had a great time and now he's doing great work for Sky Sports, so um, there you go, I couldn't help myself but put him in. Here we go, it's another legend and it is Robert Perez. Look at him, he is absolutely beastly, even when he was at the end of his career, he still had great stats, 83 dribbling, 80 passing, 76 shooting and 72 pace. Really, really good player, and then that was when he was back at Villarreal, unfortunately he didn't actually go any further than that that was his last season in football so there you go that's Robert Perez for you so we got another player that actually hasn't retired from football yet and it is Raul now you can see that he has his Real Madrid card back in FIFA 10 he has two Schalke cards FIFA 11 and FIFA 12 and then he even had an inform look how good that inform was it gave got a stat boost of four rating points overall from his you know his default card on FIFA 12 now he hasn't actually retired he's playing out in the Saudi league for Al Saad but he's not on the game I actually went and checked it out um, don't know why he wasn't there but but that's just what you got to live with sometimes. Sometimes these players aren't there. In fact, I'm not even sure if Al Sad's on the game. I couldn't find them, but I had a look for Spanish players in the Saudi League. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm looking at completely the right play at wrong place and you guys are going to crucify me. But there you go. There's Raul. What a player he was. Legends don't come any bigger than this guy. And it is Ronaldo. Look at him. He's absolutely beastly. His FIFA 10 card was pretty good. We're obviously catching him at the end of his career. I mean, if there was a FIFA Ultimate Team 07 and we could get the card for that, I'm pretty sure that we'd be looking at one of the best cards on well in the history of FIFA really if we look at him he has 74 pace on FIFA 10 82 shooting and 88 dribbling I mean those are some pretty good stats considering he was on the way out then obviously his FIFA 11 card took a massive drop again he actually lost 14 pace in a season lost eight uh, well no six dribbling he only lost one shooting though so that was all that really mattered because he was an absolute beast when it came to scoring all of them goals but yeah Great player, sorely missed, and uh, hope that he's doing all right. You know, you occasionally see him pop up on TV. Nice little uh, sort of semi-afro that he's got going on at the moment. Who remembers this cheeky chappy then? Is Van Nistelrooy. Now, I remember the season at Man United where everyone was taking the piss because he was going for, or he was almost top scorer. He may have even been top scorer at the time. And he hadn't scored a single goal from outside the box. Like, or in fact, not even further out than the six-yard box. So, um, a pretty funny player. But you can see there he had quite a few cards in his uh, later stages of his career. He had his Real Madrid card, which looked pretty good. I mean, look at that 80 shooting and 81 dribbling, 78 heading, pretty good all-round striker. Then he obviously had his Hamburg card, um, obviously dropped off a little bit, but he'd actually gone up in stat points, which is a bit strange. And then he had his Malaga card as well. So our last player is going to be for all you Chelsea fans out there, and it is Michael Ballack. Look at this guy. His FIFA 10 card is insane. I'm just going to call it now. Insane. If it was on FIFA 13, I would be playing this card non-stop. Look at it. He has 73 pace, 74 dribbling. Those are all right stats. But then, look at this. 84 shooting, 82 defending, 85 passing, and 88 heading. 88 heading as a centre mid. You never lose a ball in the midfield if you had him playing as centre mid. You just win it all. You completely dominate the game. You'd be able to pass your opponent to death, and he would just be laughing. You just sat there laughing in the middle of the pitch. I didn't actually play FIFA 10 all that much. I know I played FIFA 09 a lot. I had pretty much every player under the sun. I had FIFA 11... Uh, ultimate team but I didn't actually play ultimate team all that much I think the most I did was buy the best Serie A squad that you could possibly do and then you know FIFA 12 obviously I played the hell out of it I played it all the time and uh, had loads of coins and everything so it was an easy easy game for me to play but um, yeah really wish I had a chance to play with that FIFA 10 card that looks absolutely insane can only imagine how good his FIFA 09 card was because he probably would have taken a drop between FIFA 09 and FIFA 10 so there you go guys that is the end of the video I hope you have 
enjoyed and agreed with all of these cards that I've put into this sort of legends category. Um, obviously, if you could drop the video a like, that would be amazing. Hit that 1,000 like mark and there'll be another one of these tomorrow. I've got another idea. Obviously, put all your suggestions for videos or you know ideas for videos down in the comments section because I will be looking through them. I'm not going to necessarily do what you suggest today, tomorrow, but I will obviously take it into consideration and I will go and do them. Like yesterday, you guys really wanted to see the most downgraded players on FIFA, so I will go and do that in the next couple of days. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time.